Hey guys, welcome back. VDCKR here, and we've got another month of the sci fi block from Nerd Block. So, first off, as always, huge thanks to them for continuing to send us this block. We love it, and we love opening it. And this month, there's supposed to be a bunch of items from uh, Star Wars, Aliens. I can't remember the other one, but there's supposed to be two Funkos in it, too. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. So, without further ado, oh, and as always, we've got a recommendation at the end if you want to hang around for that. And this recommendation is going to be a little special, so if you like that, definitely stick around. Nice. The Collector, that's Guardians of the Galaxy. That's the the guy who bought the stone from them for the ridiculous amount of money. Oh, right, right, right yeah. That's cool. Let's see how it works. So he's not as memorable, he's not the most memorable character from the, the series, but... I wonder if everybody got the collector. Oh, it's a bobble. Oh, that's nice. I, like that. I, like that. I wonder if everybody got a collector because we're like kind of collectors ourselves, or if there was a variant and we just happened to nab that one. Ooh, Rebel Alliance. Lay it down. I love, or I Rebel Alliance Star Wars. Or I Millennium Falcon Star Wars. That's cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, I love toques. Oh, so you got a Stormtrooper toque. Oh, that's cool. All right, I love that. I love wearing toques. Stormtrooper. Nice. There's a Star Trek notepad. Very cool. Oh, and it's got something. It's like uh, it's like the recorder. It's you know. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's funny. That's actually quite a, a neat design kind of feature. Beam me up, Scotty. Oh, and another action figure. That's the alien from Alien. Okay, now I know that we've been in the habit of opening stuff, but the pro problem with this, not really a problem, but what makes it is that it's... The packaging. It's yeah. actually like a big part of it. Yeah. It's that kind of old style. We could have gotten any one of these Ripley. Actually, I prefer... Alien Hitler. from Alien is probably the best. Yeah, I think so. All right, cool. And then these are the... Ads for next week and the summary of what we got this week. All right, so, um, oh, Doctor Who coming up in the next month, and some more Star Wars Funko. Nice. All right, so the. Oh, so we could have gotten. Does that saying that we could have gotten any of them, or that we could have just gotten? I those guess one two? of those two. Or it said, uh, or Yondu. Yondu or Collector. Can I see the punk Funko box? I just want to see what we oh. could have potentially gotten in the whole set. Oh. Uh, so Baby Groot, Ronan, Thanos, The Collector, Nebula. I think Baby Groot or Thanos would have been the coolest in this one. But I'm pretty happy with The Collector anyways. It kind of... Alright, so this is what it's supposed to be like with all the communicator stuff. And a little bit of a psychedelic kind of moray pattern. Okay, so we got the action figure. We got that. We got the Storm Toque. <laughs> Beanie. Nice. All right, that was a good month. Excellent. Thanks. Okay, Thanks. and so, yeah, we're going to move on now to our recommendation. And as promised, this is going to be a little bit of a special one. So, Tor.com actually recently sent us these three books for the purpose of review. So, we asked for Every Hearted Doorway, and when it showed up, we got The Devil You Know and Lust Box, which were both pleasant surprises. What was cool was the publicist had said, I'm going to send you a few other goodies too, and his idea of goodies is more books. Which is our idea of goodies also. So, yeah, we're going to do a really quick review here, basically just tell you how these are good because we enjoyed them all, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a full review later, so if you're at all interested or if you just want to help us out, definitely check that out. But Every Heart of Doorway, we asked for it because it was good and it definitely delivered. It's a really, really, like, it's interesting, engaging, it's... It's... What's interesting, all right, so the, our our history is with um, Sean McGuire. So we know Sean McGuire as Mira Grant writing horror, and the New Slush Trilogy was one of our favorite zombie books. Yeah, it was really, really good. And the the idea of Every Heart of Doorway, it's, um, there's the idea of portal fantasies. And so the, the sort of prototypical one that a lot of people know about is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, where you enter a whole other world, 
And this, the, the idea behind this is that it's addressing what happens when you come back. Yeah. And so it does a really good job of that. It's interesting, engaging. It's a little dark at parts, even, um, for more of a whimsical premise, right? But it's yeah. very, very good. And The Devil You Know is really great. It's interesting, it's clever, and it's it has kind of a quiet humor, which isn't laugh out loud, but it's really entertaining to read. All right, so if you read the back copy, this is what, what threw me off originally. So it's talking about how somebody's trying to... Sell their soul. And tr trick, trick the devil. And to me, that sounds like a, a funny book, like a humorous book. Yeah. But then when you look at the marketing, um, it's fantasy, fantasy historical and fantasy dark fantasy. And it's not. It's not really dark at all. The, the darkest points is really just the fact that there's, like, the devil in it. it, it it's quite interesting. I'd, I'd never read K.J. Parker before, and it's, it's a poorly kept secret now that uh, K.J. Parker is a pseudonym for... Tom Holt, who's written a bunch of uh, humorous fantasies, but if this is anything like what he what he does, uh, I, I'm, I'm a total fan, and I gotta look up a bunch of other books that he's written. Yeah, so these two are definitely really different from each other. And oh, actually, we should mention Every Heart of Doorway coming out in April, and Devil You Know coming out in March. And so the last one we got is Lust Locked, and it's supposed to be coming out in uh, January, so it's, it's already, already out. out, and so. This one uh, wasn't quite our cup of tea. It was interesting. It did a lot of really cool stuff as far as <coughs> concepts. Uh, like the the base uh, concept is it's the second book in a series about a supernatural catering company. It might even be the third. It's a sequel to, to one of them. But it's a sequel to another book. Yeah, so it's either the second or the third. And so it's um, it's a real kind of wild, wild ride. It's a romp. They do a lot of fun stuff. Everything is... Um, Pretty lighthearted, and there's a guest starring appearance, not by name, but of David Bowie in it. And I guess the difficulty I had was that it clearly re references a lot of events that happened before, and I feel like that because it's in the middle of a series, yeah, you miss out a bit, and that it would benefit a lot from reading in order, so you get to know the characters in the situation ahead of time. Yeah, so there's a lot of pop culture reference, a lot of stuff. So I would. In summary, heartily recommend these two, and this one, if the idea and the premise of it sound really interesting, uh, you definitely might be interested in it. Yeah, and I, one of the things I, I love, actually, about Tor.com, which is separate from, I guess, Tor Publishing, which is one of the biggest science fiction and fantasy publishers around, is that they are specifically uh, selling t uh, or creating a market for shorter books. And I, th I think it's great. I think uh, up until recently, a lot of the shorter books were geared towards the young adult market. Yeah, and, and these are three really good examples of what happens when you let people kind of run wild within the short book. Yeah, without without having to write a Sell it for man kids. fantasy or like you know those big, big thick. I said big. I want a big thick doorstopper of a book. Yeah. And no matter whether you like all the books or not, they definitely all do something really interesting, and they all do a pretty good job of doing it in a very short amount of space, which is always good to see. Yeah, so we're, what we're going to do is just do something maybe a little bit more detailed and talk about some of the context and where we're coming at when we, when we read stories like this. Yeah. See you guys next time. Komoda.